basically the main purpose of this video is to show you how to create your own token for less than two dollars and i will recommend you use this knowledge for good and with that i'm still going to show you how to deploy your own cryptocurrency and i'm also going to show you how you can list your token you just created on pancake swap so make sure you don't skip any part of this video so that you don't miss out meanwhile you need to know that content like this takes a lot of time and effort to put together so the only sacrifice you are paying is to make sure you like this video and subscribe to this youtube channel for more informative and educative content like this so so the first thing you need to understand is the network of your cryptocurrency you want to create and for the sake of this video we'll be using the binance smart chain network now the main reason why we are using binance smart chain is because the binance smart chain has lower fee compared to all other crypto network like ethereum and polygon and with that you also need to get your metamax wallet set for bsc network and for you to set up your metamax on the bsc network you just got to search for metamax extension then you search and click on the first link then it will take you to the chrome extension web store you understand so you just got to click on how to chrome then click on add extension then wait for it to load up now you can see that metamask have been added to my chrome browser now for you to open metamask you just got to go to your extension store then you search for metamask and click on metamask then wait for it to load up so this is just basically how metamask looks like so you just got to click on get started now on this section it says new to metamask yes or no if you are a new member, then you just got to click on create a new wallet. I already have an account with MetaMask, so I just got to click on import wallet, then click on agree. So since I already have a MetaMask account, I just got to impute my 12 key phrase. Then I impute a new password, then click on import. And with that, it will take you to your MetaMask dashboard where you will see zero Ethereum as default. And also the default minute is Ethereum minute. So for you to add BSC network to MetaMask, it's very simple. You just have to click on this Ethereum minute, then click on add network. Then automatically it will take you to this section whereby you just got to impute the name and also the chain ID. And for you to get all these details, you just got to come to the academic section on Binance where you can also find the link on the video description below. So first thing, you just got to copy the network name, then you paste it. And also copy the ROPC URL, then you paste it. You just have to do the same process for all other information then after imputing all the details you just got to scroll down then you click on save and automatically you have successfully added bsc network to your metamax so by the time you click on smart chain you'll be able to see the smart chain minutes and also the ethereum minutes so the next thing to do is to form your metamax wallet and you can do that by just copying this your address then go to any exchange after you are using like binance to send bnb on the smart chain network to this particular address and after forming your wallet then you are good to go now the next thing to do is to code the smart contract which is easier than ever and for us to code the smart contract we'll be using this tool called remix.ethereum.org which you can also find the link on the video description below and Remix is just basically an online code editor for Solidity programming language. You don't need to worry about this interface. I'm going to walk you step by step on how to achieve a perfect result. So once you are here, you just got to set up your compiler by clicking on this icon. Then you click on this compiler option. Then put it on 0.8.2 just as you can see on your screen. Then after that, you just got to go to the file editor which is this first one. You go to the file explorer. And once you are on this, your file explorer. You just got to click on this option to create a new file then you you give it a name you understand the name of your token precisely so let me just say token dot soul now remember to put this dot soul sign because this is a programming language you'll be using so once you give it the name you put dot soul at the front you understand then you click on enter then with that if you take it to this blank page for you to write your code but since we don't have any knowledge on coding and we don't want to waste time so i'm just going to copy the source code from this developer then come back to this platform and paste it and you can actually click the link below to get access to this source code so you just got to come back to this platform and paste the code you copied. Now what you'll be doing is just simply scrolling up after you paste the code. Then you take a look on this section that contains the total supply and also the symbol and also the decimal, you understand? So first of all, you just got to impute the total supply, which is the number of tokens you want to create. Let me say 10 million. So I just got to impute more zeros. Then below the total supply, you will see the name, which is the name of your token. So we just got to give it a name. Let me say copy inu and below the name is the symbol. The symbol is just basically three or four letter word in capital letter that is going to represent the token you are creating. So let me just say 
P U P P I O P U. -U. This is a symbol for this my token I want to create. And with that, you are good to go. Now, before I proceed, I actually got this source code from a developer I know, and you also have the right to use it. So you just got to copy it, then edit the total supply, the name, and also the symbol. Then upon doing that, you are good to go. So if you are enjoying the content, make sure you give a like and try subscribe, and also drop your BSC address on the comment section below. So that by the time I'm done creating this particular token, I might just give it away. And if you want to actually manipulate the token you're about to create, this is the section whereby you can do that. So with that being said, the next thing to do is to deploy our token on the Binance Smart Chain, which is very very easy to do. And for you to be sure if everything will be fine, you can deploy it on the test net. But I'm going to deploy it live so that you see how it is done. And for you to do that, you just got to come to this Ethereum symbol. Then you click on it. Then on this section, you just got to click on this environment. Then you select Injected Web 3, you understand? Then automatically your your metamax will pop out. Then you just got to connect your wallet. Click on next and connect. Then automatically your wallet have been connected to your token you are creating. So with that, when you scroll down, when you click on contract, you can see that your contract have not been compiled. So you just got to come back to this file explorer. Then you click on this your token. You understand? You right click. Then you click on compile then after compiling you just got to come back to this deploy button then you'll be able to see your soul token you understand your token dot soul which is this contract that you could then after that just got to make sure that it is selected then make sure that this environment is on injected web3 then just got to scroll down and click on deploy then upon clicking on deploy you just got to confirm the transaction then you pay some gas fee and upon doing that you'll be able to see that the transaction is successful and you'll be able to see that your deployment is successful and it is completed so you just got to scroll down and for us to be sure if everything is working you just got to go back to your metamask then you copy your address you copy your address then come back to this first section then you paste your wallet then put comma paste one then you click on this little arrow and you'll be able to see that we are about to transfer one of my tokens I just deployed to my MetaMax wallet. So I just got to click on transact. Then I just got to pay the gas fee that is involved. Confirmed. You can see that the transaction is successful. And first to complete the confirmation, you just got to go to bscscan.com. Then on bscscan, you just got to paste your wallet address. Then click on search and upon pasting my metamax wallet i just send the puppy in to. i just got to scroll down then you'll be able to see that one minute ago i did a recent transaction you understand one minute ago and the coin is puppy you know this is to say that our coin that we created is successful and when you click on this puppy you know it will take you to the coin contract you understand you can see that the total supply is 10 million Poppy, you know, you understand, and this is the contract address. This is to say that everything we have been doing is successful. So, this is just basically how to create and deploy any crypto or any token. You understand? So, now before I show you how to list and add your token to PancakeSwap for trading, make sure that you have already liked this video and subscribe to the channel because that is the only support I can get from you currently. Now, adding your token to PancakeSwap is just basically where you set up your token price by adding liquidity. And you can actually select the liquidity pair like BNB, BUSB, or CAKE, which is also the trading pair. Then, after selecting the liquidity pair, you just got to select your currency. So, for you to do that, you need to go back to your BSC account. Then, you copy this your token contract address. You understand? You copy it, then come back to PancakeSwap and click on select the currency and paste it. It's going to show up like this, you understand? Poppy, which is a poppy, you know. Then click on import. Then click on I understand. Then import. Now, basically, because I'm the owner of this token and I'm the first person providing liquidity, I'm going to get this message from Pancake Swap saying that you are the first liquidity provider. So I just got to scroll down, then impute the amount at which I want to put on the liquidity. So, just as you can see, I set the BNB price to so 0.01 BNB for 10 million puppies which means i'm going to send 10 million puppies for 0.01 bnb you understand so i just got to scroll down then you can see the quick information which is a review then click on supply then you can see that create a pool and supply which is the 100 percent you understand i'm going to put 100 percent of the liquidity to pancake swap you understand 
then I click on create pool or supply. Then I just got to confirm the transaction on my MetaMax, and you can see that that the liquidity is 0.1 BNB, 0.01 BNB. So I just got to click on confirm, then automatically the transaction will be submitted which means that my token I just created is live now. That is just basically how to create, deploy and list your token on PancakeSwap. So as I said before, all the links are in the video description below to get the source code. And also use the comment section for your compliments and questions. And as you all know, I'm DMO. So thank you for watching and see you on my next video.